Hi everyone and happy Halloween. Today I'm going to do a series of some tutorials for how to do different looks for Halloween. I know some of you have probably already gone to parties this past weekend, but just in case people are going out tonight or next weekend, we can use these for next year. So the first look I'm going to do is how to look like a doll, or at least my version of how to look like a doll. So I have one half of my face, well one eye done already. So you can check that out and this is my face chart for how it's going to look. So first I did my complexion, you know, made it really kind of perfect. Not totally perfect, but as perfect as I can get it. So for that I used P Photo Perfection from Givenchy. It's their foundation and I am number four, Perfect Vanilla. I love the names up there from foundations. And then I used my Bobbi Brown palette, of course. I use it all the time, as you guys know. And I used the concealer in beige and the corrector in light bisque. And then for foundation, I used the beige and warm beige and cool beige. I kind of mixed them all together. So that's how I got my face done. I set it with the Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder. So it's right here. It's really nice and light, so it's going to make everything feel set like it's not going to move. For my hair, I did curls and I just kind of let them stay. I did a little headband. I um, have this nice blue shirt on and I put it over this little dress that I have. You guys can, you know, do something similar to that. And then I have T-strap pumps on that are pointed. I'll do a picture later so you guys can see the full thing once it's done. So for blush, I'm going to use the NARS in Amore. So I just take my little brush and I'm just going to put it right on the apples. And I know that looks really crazy, like I look like Raggedy Ann. So I'm going to put it like that, but I still want to make myself look pretty. So I'm going to go back with my foundation brush and kind of blend it a little bit. Not trying to look so much like a doll. I still like my outfits to look pretty when I dress up for Halloween. So there's that. Um, I usually use like a light little brush. It's usually a blending brush to put the um, powder on so that I don't mess up the makeup. You can use a bigger brush if you just need a little bit. I put a lot on just to make sure everything was very set. So now for fun, the eyes. I use the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, which is the best. As you guys know, I love that one. Next, I did just, I just kind of set my eyes with this light color. So I just put it on. I had already put my eyeshadow base on, I promise. And then I did right over here, they have three eyeshadow ones. And I mixed these two ones here. And I just put it in my crease to kind of define my eye a little more. A little bit of drip is on there. So that's for your eyes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but for my primer, I used the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. I really like how it looks. It makes your skin look like it has no pores, and you can see a little bit of radiance. I did put a lot of foundation on, so you might not be able to see it now. So next, I used my NARS eyeliner, and this is the eyeliner Stilo in Carpates. So it's like a marker. So usually I have a mirror further away from me, so I'm going to use this one closer up and kind of try to prop it up here so I can still see myself while I do this. Alright, so you're just going to start on the outside and just draw a straight line over. And you can make it really thick, I mean it doesn't have to be perfect and then just extend it a little bit and then you're going to just bring that straight down right underneath the lash line so it kind of opens your eye up a little more you can bring it out some more Ooh. 
got my eye. Alright, so just make that, make sure that bottom line is somewhat even before we start with the lashes. And this is actually a pretty easy uh, makeup look. So if you don't really want to get too involved, um, yeah, this is a great one to try. Okay, so done with the eyeliner. Now with the lashes. So I have Ardell lashes for my bottom lashes. They're just really nice and natural, so you could even use these on your top lashes from day to day if you like to wear lashes. And they're 108 and black. So these ones don't come with glue, but some of theirs do. I usually like to just use Duo because, you know, in my kit I'm putting on a lot of lashes. I'm not just going to worry about the sets coming with lash glue. But for those of you that don't, you know, put on lashes a lot, just use the glue that's in the kit. So I just, I usually take my tweezers and I get glue on the end and then I just bring it along the band like that. And then, so you're going to have them so that the lashes look like this not like this, how you would put them on the top the bottom, we're going to put them on so they're like this coming out. I usually put the glue on my hand so you can get a little tacky before I put the lashes on. Okay, so back to the close-up mirror. Not that much of a pro that I can just be like, boop, and then they're done. So let's, so you just kind of, you just want to put them underneath your lashes, your natural lashes. And then where that eyeliner is. And then just push them down a little bit after you go under and kind of make sure they're stuck on. So you can bring them down as far as you want. You can really, you know, have a lot of leeway with this because if you go a little below where your eyeliner is, just go back in and just bring that eyeliner a little further down so that it fills it in. And then you just want to go over to your other eye and kind of make that correction as well. So it, kind of, it just makes your eyes look bigger like a baby doll. Maybe this is like a demented baby doll right now. Or just a regular doll because I have hair. Babies usually don't have hair. So then for the top lashes, I did Eye Lure uh, Natural Lights in the evening wear ones. And these ones are actually really easy to get out of because they, to get out of the case because they just stick them easily like that. So sometimes I like to just wiggle them around to make sure the band is loose enough so that I can form it easily enough to my eye lid. Alright, so just put the glue on like we did last time. And then you're going to just, usually I pull my eye out a little bit and then I place them like that. Alright, and there we go. So there you have your lashes. For mascara, I have the Dior Show New Look. So, and you could put the mascara on before or after you put on your lashes. So I'm just kind of like doing a little, a little coat here. And then I'm going to get my bottom lashes. So they'll kind of like mesh everything together.
And then you can use some white eyeliner. I have the Rimmel Soft Coal. I really like their pencils. And just kind of put that on your waterline. So it can almost extend where the whites of your eyes are. Kind of not. So these are the eyes. And I think they look pretty good. Might, I kind of look like a doll. I guess dolls usually don't have as much eyeliner, so you can always go softer on the eyeliner. I kind of like it because it looks more exaggerated and Halloween-esque. So next is lips. And I'm using the Estee Lauder All Day Lipstick in Rich and Rosy. And it's in my you know palette that I made for myself, so I'm not carrying around millions of tubes everywhere. So then I'm just going to get a lip brush. I can find one. So, here we go. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then just put it on. Nice and easy, like that. Make sure everything looks good. So do another once over, make sure you like how it looks. And then you're done. So I guess I am. Oh, and this is how the doll look is when it's done. Um, I hope you guys like it and stay tuned for the rest of my Halloween video tutorials. I have a wood nymph coming up, um, how to do some bruising, and then also a cat. So all of these looks that I've been do or that I'm going to do and that I've done with this are all based around different lashes that I have and kind of my inspiration that I got from the lashes. I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy and be beautiful.